Hi. Hello, uh, this is Darth Devil Daddy, and I have a special hellish edition for you. And I have cherry marshmallow pie. And you don't. <laughs> that would, that's actually kind of mean. Yeah, I know. It was delicious. He gave me a little bit because, you know, I'm dad and you're not. Uh, this <laughs> is Thanksgiving, though, if you're wondering. How much yeah. Thanksgiving is there? Well, okay, that's not Thanksgiving. That looks like a luau. Hold on a second. There was, yeah, there's a big Thanksgiving table over there and a big freaking turkey. Love you, turkey. I'm tech guy built a rocket turkey. That's pretty cool. Um, Kills a hovercraft. Big roast. I believe turkey. your account is under Lucrative Gaming. I haven't correct? shared it through the thing. Oh, you haven't shared it through Twitter yet? Yeah. I'll be darned. Well, you have to do some weird stuff to set the twig. Okay. Dude, your house is a hole in the ground. <laughs> You know what that reminds me of? Those early Minecraft houses and you don't know what the heck to do? So you just I, bury yourself at wait, night? I thought it looked like those uh, people who are scared of like zombie evasions or something. <laughs> yeah. I got their hole in the ground. However, this video promised a few things. Hey people, evil is here, but you luck out. Cause I'm going to hell. Fire club. You can join. Easy enough. Just find me. Maybe I'll pick you up or whatever. But we were gonna do a little building today, and I also had some goodies to open. So or let's as see. Satan, you could hook them on a meat hook. That's just the same thing. Again. <laughs> I know we've done it three times this week, but I figured I'd open some chaos chest. I'm chaotic. Flux, flux, enchanted wood, sticky ecker. Sticker. More flux. Wow. Actually, a lot of flux. Like that. Ching. Let's see, anything else cool here? Uh, those are ring boxes. I really don't want my ring boxes in my main line. Class key, gem key fragment. <gasps> oh, that looks like something to add. Yeah, I'm going to have to build that baby up. And let's see down here. It makes him explode. And kids, that's why you don't eat dynamite. Why you don't eat dynamite. Me, on the other hand, creepy, creepy quapper. I got a creepy quapper, Daddy. That's what it sounded like. I the flux crystal. Stick. Loot of collect to obtain flux. Mm. And I just burped. I don't know why they need to know that, but they do. So I've been looking over my little tract of hell here, trying to think what to add next. Murder? Now, one thing I could do is add the top of a building over here. I've got two towers that need completed. And of course, I've got the big roof over here, which I started working on. And then I think lost the video fragments for. But tonight, I think I can make up for that. Because okay. I feel really bad you didn't get to watch that build. So let's get to the main business here. Square Dances and Calls, done by Jimmy Kish, the Flying Cowboy. Yeah, we got it. Remember, you are in hell. Uh, okay, maybe I'm in hell. I can't seem to figure out my record player. Circle six six six. Ah. I'm next to the birdie and he keeps seven around. Birdie hops up and the crow hops in. Crow hops up and the birdie is swing. Everybody is swing. Are they swinging at birdies? Roll up, stop, get the party 
<laughs> what the heck was that? A very enthusiastic dude. Ah, uh, was something. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> A gentleman lives down the corner. In the moonlight. On the tune light. Oh, you meet your bed and you promenade. Oh, you promenade your little darling hall. If you dare, because it could be dangerous. She's an inbred hillbilly like you. She might bite you or something. <laughs> Hillbilly freaks are gonna hate us. Oh no, Bill will be okay. <laughs> he puts up with more of my nonsense than anyone else I know. <laughs> I think most true hillbilly freaks don't really go for my channel. I could be wrong. If you're a hillbilly freak and you like my show, don't tell your pastor for one thing. Well, oh, come on. Now you got to admit, I mean, if you're a hillbilly freak, my show is probably not the high on what your religious leaders would want you to watch or listen to. Are you sure that if they all have a religious leaders? I don't know. Seems like they would. It's kind of a, a hillbilly tradition, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. What is that? Well, on a lot of old cathedrals and things like that, they had a, uh, um, they have spires, basically. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that this album is a little slice of hell. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to be your mom's favorite video of mine. Hey, she'll like it better than that big chest video. Yeah, she looked pretty insulted by that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but okay. What? Why did she marry you anyway? I don't know. Maybe it's I'm a good dad in reality. Did you hypnotize her with satanic spells? Well, there is that. <laughs> well, there is that. I try not to, you know, push the devilish thing too far, you know, but sometimes nature just takes its course, too, you know. This dude is really enthusiastic about food products, I've noticed, which I kind of like, really. And he just keeps swinging on. You know what I say? 
I'm sure we'll find out. That's what I say. Now the funny thing is, when I was a kid, the church across the street from us, yeah, I live across the street from a church. If you're wondering how did I happen, that might be just as much an explanation as anything else you've heard. Um, well. They used to have square dances all the time though. Oddly enough, they seem to not like us. Well. That's because we're poor. <laughs> what? That's because we're poor. It has nothing to do with my videos. I doubt any of them actually have seen any of them. Why do you say not like this because we're poor? Because they're not. Yeah, I guess we're a reminder of what they could be if they weren't lucky. You know, most, most people who are wealthy want to believe that they did it because of some special quality they have, or God wants them to be that way. In reality, it's like, no, you're just kind of luck. Lucked out on that one. Maybe it will <clears throat> succeed better in the next place we're moving to. I'm sure we will. This place sucks. Okay, I said it. Yeah, it's pretty much the only thing I enjoy doing <laughs> Playing trove and burping. That's his big activities around here, really. No, I'm in playing video games in general. And listening to square dance music. He's a huge fan of that. Man, this flying cowboy, man, he is something. I'm not sure what precisely, but he is. I have a feeling this is probably going to be one of my biggest videos. Um. The fun thing is, though, is if you've ever actually been to a square dance, they're fun. And, you know, women get dressed up in a very fancy but very country sort of way. They're fun. You know, it's... It's certainly entertaining to mock a square dance thing, but in reality... Um. More fun than the hillbilly south out here. <laughs> the hillbillies out here are just boozy old freaks. Huh. Oh, that's not fair to say. Some of them are young. Boozy old looking freaks. Yeah. Yeah, we went to one of these festivals in this town. And every 30 out of, one out of 30 people it didn't have a drink. Huh. Yeah. And only two uh, out of all, all those 30 weren't drunk. Sorry. <laughs> right. Well, I was going to say, you also have to consider how many of them just dropped a drink. I'm so drunk. <sighs> Sorry, Paul, you can't hold your liquor. That's why you can't have any more. I mean, you literally cannot hold it. But yet they still keep selling it to them, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? That's, that's their bread and butter. That's 
sidewalk. Swing your own. Uh, Teenage the yours thoughts. and mine actually are in reference to the girl that they came with. What? The girl, yours and mine are the person you came with. Uh, that sounds like very dominant. Well, I can't say honestly that it's not meant to be that way, but it kind of is. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're looking to have a square dance and you're hearing us talk. Like, oh man, this would have been perfect if he had just shut up. Don't blunder or he'll kill you. Now the question is, do you recognize the song that he pretty much stole for this? The song is Skip to My Lou, or Skip to the Lou. Now Skip to the Lou is actually an old English verse. It's a reference to Lou is bathroom, so what do you think they're singing about? Wow. Yeah, it's a song that references basically when you get sick and are dying of diarrhea. Better move to the bathroom quick. Well, see, dip and dive, over and under. And don't you blunder. Yeah, but didn't have that in it. Maybe the guy who made it on time did. I don't know. I, I don't recall ha uh, Skip to My Lou having uh, yodel into it or anything like that. Or that wasn't yodel. That was just like a... Weird cowboy screams. Well, that was pretty exciting. Should we put both sides in on this one, or should we make yeah, it a double sides. part? I don't know, because we really don't have a lot of record time on this either, though, you know? How long do you have it set? That's a good question. I probably should have checked that before I started playing, huh? Well, I think that'll work. That'll have to do for this particular video. This has been Darth Evil Daddy with Firecat tonight saying goats out, my friends. Goats out.